Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I want to talk about how I have been making extra money using HipCamp. Uh, HipCamp is a camping application. Very simple. I've been using it ever since August 2020. So before I started using HipCamp, you know, I, I had some vacant land and my dream was always to have some rural property to be able to camp on. And I bought this property back in 2014. So over the years, of course, I developed it to what it is now. It's not just vacant land. It's not just, hey, park wherever. You know, it, it's it's a good campsite. And I've been camping there with my friends and family. You know, sometimes I go by myself. Um, but, you know, I've just been developing it. And then this past year in 2020, I started looking into how to make money with vacant land. And of course, you know, doing my research and everything, I, you know, finally hit camp popped up. And I said, what is this? I didn't know much, so I started to read, started to look more into hip camp, and finally I saw that uh, a lot of people kept referring to hip camp as the Airbnb for camping. So I said, yeah, let's do it. Why not? You know, I, I've been going to my campsite. Initially, I was camping there a lot more, but as the time went, you know, I was probably going there four times a year, maybe checking up on it here and there. Um, but again, I wanted to make extra money and hip camp seemed, seemed like a straight shot. So of course, uh, making the account was easy. I logged into hip camp, uh, became a host. Uh, it took me some time to kind of, um, just put everything together. So get the pictures, um, get good pictures because some of the pictures were just for my own personal use, but I wanted to have pictures to better describe everything, kind of show how everything looked, how to get there, the overall campsite, uh, some of the activities one can do there, like stargazing, of course, um, cooking an open fire, things of that sort. So I started putting this account together, and then I've been updating it ever since I, I started. But it was fairly simple. Um, the only thing is, once I made the account and I thought, hey, as soon as I upload this account, it's going to be quick. I'm going to start getting my first booking. It took me a couple weeks to actually get my first booking. And at first, I just said, you know, I was checking daily, uh, making sure everything was set up correctly, and then just getting that first booking was pretty exciting. Um, I wanted to make sure everything went well, make sure, again, that I had provided the correct directions, I didn't mislead anyone about what the camp was, and make sure, you know, it was a great, you know, enjoyable experience for uh, the hip camper. So, um, let's see... So like I said, I, I try to go um, every once in a while, and then I've been up, updating and upgrading kind of the the hip camp site for my camp. Uh, after each camp, you know, sometimes they recommend and say, hey, you know what, uh, you might want to add this to directions, or uh, sometimes I'll get a lot of questions, people asking me, hey, is there anywhere to sit? What is there to do? How far is it? So I make sure in the description of the camp, I upgrade it every single time I get these common questions. And again, I'll try to provide pictures. And one thing I like about Hip Camp is that others will, in a sense, leave their review of the camp and they add some details or kind of specifics for the next Hip Camper. So currently, you know, I, I try to go once a month. Um, my wife and I, we go out there, just check up on the property, we clean it, we reorganize stuff. Or sometimes we go after a long stay just to make sure, you know, everything's well. Uh, the hip camper had a great experience, and again, to kind of clean it and be a good steward of the camp and make sure it's ready for the next hip camper. So luckily, I haven't had anyone trash um, my campsite. That was one of the main concerns, that someone's going to go out there and just be reckless, um, whether they just burn stuff, leave trash, uh, do stuff they're not supposed to out there. That was my biggest concern, and luckily we haven't had any of those. I think Hip Camp does a great job of kind of weeding out the people that do do that. Uh, they stay to the more mainstream apps. But Hip Camp, definitely good stewards of the land. Um, you know, people are super nice with Hip Camp. Uh, just sometimes, you know, it does get windy out at the campsite, so we do have to pick up some trash that flew away, or, you know, sometimes they forgot some stuff. So we try to clean that up. Um, other times we do have to rearrange the camp um, just because those that stay, they'll rearrange it and then we have to kind of put it back together. So th those are my biggest two concerns. Um, but overall, great.
great time hosting with HipCamp. One issue that if you do decide to host with HipCamp, you're going to get a lot is um, sometimes people, even though you have a detailed description, they're not going to read it. You know, it's unfortunate, but you put the time in, they're not going to read it. They're going to send you all these questions. They're just, they see something and boom, shoot off some questions to you. So a lot of times I'm answering these questions, um, you know, and you think you're going to get someone booked there. So of course you want to be able to answer uh, quickly and accurately. Um, at the end of the day, they don't camp there, but that's fine. You know, we, we do get enough uh, campers, so, um, but it's going to happen. People are going to ask questions and then just keep on moving. So to finish everything up, I just want to again say it's been an overall great experience. I would say it's definitely better than Airbnb if it's just for a camp. Uh, if it was a glamp site or anything different, of course, it'd be a whole different experience. But um, Hip Camp has been uh, great to us. Again, it's a simple camp. We're not making millions off the property. This just really helps us pay our, our taxes on the on the lot. Um, you know, and gets people camping. It gets other people kind of experiencing what we've been experiencing this whole time. So if you want to get started, I'm going to leave um, my link below. Go ahead, click on it. Uh, you get a cash bonus. We get a cash bonus. And like that just gets you started on becoming a hip, hip camp host. And, you know, um, definitely give it a try.